it, it gives you um if for example your parents are born again they pray and uh, god is giving them a child that child comes with a blueprint amen and that is why satan likes corrupting marriage very much so that blueprint will show you or i will show in the spiritual realm uh, when you are where you are supposed to live the family you are supposed to be born the kind of career you are supposed to do many things about you how many years god will give you but you must understand there is a lot of wickedness in the spiritual realm in the second we fight uh, 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 in the second heaven because we have three heavens the bible says and the god created heavens we have the atmospheric heaven the second heaven and the third heaven the third heaven is the uh, uh, the throne of god that's why apostle paul says i know of a man that was caught in the third heaven sometimes uh, Huko ndio kuna zile demons ambazo zinaweza kushika malaika and as a child is coming they pick the file and they will read it and uh, they will know because you can't thwart the plan of God what they will do is to set snares in your life and that is why you have to be very careful at every junction of your life in Jesus mighty name blessed are them that receive the Lord at a young age amen, amen. because at every junction you will know so these traps come at the what we call the the bus stops of your life for example when a child is about to go to school you as a parent if you are not prayerful you may take them to a school that is being run by a devil worshiper you understand it is part of uh, uh, diverting the course of this child or you can choose to take them to a school where they count rosary. You, you see, once a child is big, like now, if you were to tell Japheth count rosary, he can tell you no, right? So he can survive in a school like that. But if a child is in PP1, standard 1, standard 2, that is how they, they will behave. I, I took my brother to a Catholic school when he was around uh, class 4. And amazingly, when he came for the holiday, he came home. He took a basin of water and went and looked for special leaves in the forest at home. And then he came and he began to do it like this. That was the end of him and that school. He didn't go back to that school again. As much as I didn't know holiness, I knew what we are planting in this child is not really good. So if the Satan misses you there, because Satan doesn't give up, Nisisuwa tuna give up, he may wait for this child until teenage. Praise the Lord. So when they come to teenage, he will give them bad company. And maybe this child was supposed to be maybe an engineer, a lawyer, a preacher. He will give them a company, maybe that smokes bang, that is into drugs, that is into uh, sexual relations before marriage, that is into things. Now, if this child had a good foundation, they will survive that. If the foundation was not there, now what God had meant for them will now begin to be corrupted. Remember, these are people who are already predestined. Uh, predestined by God. But then, for you, there's a roadmap that you must follow for you to reach that destiny. If now they they um, they survive that, maybe now they come to a place where they are supposed to choose careers. You may find them now, because of peer pressure, choosing some very funny careers that you as a parent, they will even shock you. Like, may come, they may come and tell you, now I want to major on the beauty industry. And then you are like, Why? But you as a parent, you don't see the hand of Satan influencing them. Or they may tell you now, I want to be doing maybe, there's what we call, I want to do, there's nothing wrong with massage parlor, but it becomes wrong when one gender now begins to, to do massage parlor on another gender. You, you understand those kind of things. And later these things become like uh, brothers. They may also choose another degree that will teach them that there is no God. Now, should they survive that? Because though you should have sought God to know what is the destiny of this child, he may wait for them again in canvas. Uh, we are talking about traps. We are together. And that is why you see people get to canvas, they are very innocent. You give them two months and you can't recognize them anymore because they have gotten into another trap. So if your children survive that because maybe in the canvas they have found what we call Christian Union and they are still standing, the other place that they certain we're talking about the bus stops of life, it may wait for them when they start to look for work. And as they look for work, certain may present a very good deal to you. But this deal it is not good for your spiritual life. It's not good at all for your spiritual life. Because now the deal may be work in a very good hotel. 
but you will also be serving beer to our guests. You will also be serving cigarettes. But you, your title is not a... Uh, you see, I'm not a bar man, I'm not a bar woman, I'm just an hotelier. You understand that kind of a thing? Now, if that your child or hi, because now they have become grown up, if they, they pass that because of the fear of the law that you have brought them up, the other bus stop that the, law, that the Satan will put is in the area of marriage. And what Satan does, he'll just go and package a very good package for you. And you may think this is the Lord. But now this is the major one. Because if you get this one, uh, if, if somebody gets this one wrong, this one now will begin to kill ministry. It can kill career. It kills eternity. So if your children now survive this bus stop of marriage, they have hit the devil 97%. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, they have hit the trust. Because what this means... As long as now they have gotten it right here, the house of the Lord will stand because the first church is in the family, right? The house of God will stand, career will stand, and now godly children that God had purposed will be produced here. Amen. And now these godly children, because now their parents have already overcome this, may not necessarily even need a lot of prayer to overcome these other bus stops. You understand? Eh? Yeah, they may not need that. For example, now there is a battle I have fought that Fura cannot fight. Amen. Yeah, because um, I know I'm within the purpose of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that is why it is important for you always to be very discernful of the traps of Satan. Because sometimes you don't know them. They look like a, they look like just like a good uh, suggestions. Like us as ministers, there are traps that we get. Please don't be working alone. Join other pastors. Pastor Mwenyanaka peke yake, si Pastor Mzuri. Amen. Know you, you will feel like, of course, it's a, it's for union, you know, unity. And where there is unity, God will command what? A blessing. So let us join. And then the churches in Nasra will start to extend what? Fellowships, you understand? They can come here. We can go there. We can. One thing you do not know, two don't work together unless they agree, right? So we will not go and bring people that have not known holiness and tell them, because now we have a, a combined church in Nasra, all of it. Please be on the keyboard and uh, be singing. And then once you go, ask we maintain our doctrine. What you have done, you have given certain what we call an open door. And then he will come and dwell in the church because I'm a Caribbean legal. Now I'm a big one, my coffee. Amen. And that is why you need to be very careful, even in the associates that you get, not only for church or for business, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Na hizo ni vitu mimi nilikataa kitambo na nikasema tu acha nikae na kanisa ndogo na nikae peke yangu. I, I can easily match with um, your former pastor is actually my friend because we agree in doctrine. Amen. Yeah, we agree in doctrine. And he has actually been wanting to come here and preach and us. I'm talking about the pastor in deeper life in Kenya. Because two are working together and I know if he comes to preach here, he will not contaminate us. Amen. So sasa utapata kuna mitego and then you may find a Maybe because the ministry is young and the ministry needs money, you, you really want to be associated with other, a bigger ministry so that you get a name. But I want to tell you, unless the Lord gives you a name, there is no man that can give you a name. Amen. Now it is not even necessary to have that name. Because some of these things will become snares, snares, snares in your life. And by the time you discover it, you are in so much cage. Mimi lifika mahali even within the holiness ministries. Before I join any department, I pray a lot. I will not just tell you, put me here and put me there and put me there. Because I've also understood. You know, Kitambo Tulipotuna, you know, Satan is very uh, subtle. If you think Satan and Aishiki ko black cats, no, he lives in white ones. Praise the Lord. Where's you come confine? Ni marevu. So, all what you need. As a Christian, I'm just introducing a trap so that you understand is the indwelling of the Spirit of God in you. Mana roa wa mungu huwa anaanza kukuonye kitambo. Alafu fellowship. Unajua kuna wakati roa wa mungu anaanza kuwa anakuongelesha lakini ability yako ya kumsikia ni kidogo. Mandio mana yesu aliwaambia mitume yake kuna mambo ningewaambia mengi sana. Lakini kwa wakati wa mwezi mkayabeba. So in a fellowship like this 
you may find another believer, not necessarily the pastor, as a capacity to have had God even better than you. And once they talk to you, you will know this thing I thought about it. You understand, eh? And you are able to, to get out of some traps in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There's a time somebody was asking me for some money. And uh, because uh, this somebody, they are late now because they just died the other day. I'm actually going for the burial on Tuesday. I felt like in me, let me ask them, why do you need, what is the money for? Because the money I had that time, it was money that the children of God had given in the house of the Lord, right? And then she went ahead and told me, Toto wangu wako na kesi, na ule DCI ya na yando wa miniambia tu ni mtaftia hii pesi ki mambo tumalize. You can imagine, tumalize hii kesi. So that means, I would have collected money from the children of God, and that money would have been used for corruption. Unaona hile mlangu inafunguka? Sasa shetani ya kija akalie finances hapa, Tutajipata hata tunasupport club ifunguliwe. Na tujui hii mambo iliansia wapi. So you need to be careful about traps. <laughs> careful. About traps in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So what is a trap? It is a device or enclosure designed to catch, retain, by allowing entry but no exit. It is a device or enclosure designed to catch and retain by allowing only entry but no exit. So whatever it catches, it may catch an animal or a human being. A trap, because you have a trap for rats, is advice or enclosure designed to catch and retain by allowing entry only but no exit. What is a trap? You can call it also a snare. It's in a, situa a situation in which people lie in wait to make a surprise attack. A situation in which people lie in wait to make a surprise attack. Kama ni msumi wa Bibili unakumbuka job 522. Akisema he catches the crafty in their devices and frustrates the work of their hands that they achieve no success. So a crafty person in Tutupia anatumia snares. What is a snare or a trap? It is a trick to deceive someone into doing something contrary to their intentions. It is a trick. This is a message that the Lord actually the Lord actually gave me the title alone. It is a trick to deceive someone into doing something contrary to their intentions. Naweza ikiwa mtu mtego wa kupatia pesa hivyo pia mtu anaweza ikiwa mtego wa kupatia kazi vitu kama hizo a trick to deceive someone into doing something contrary to their intentions. I pray that the Lord will open your spiritual eyes today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And that you will become as wise as a serpent, but as cool as a dove. So, um, the Bible has talked so much about traps. Na leo, nataka concentrate on doors. Because now, to cook traps, it has many subtitles. But before we go to doors, let's check Nehemiah 6.10. Ndiyo tuwane mtego moja, ambao Nehemiah aliekewa, na ulikuwa unakaa kama mtego wa ilikuwa inakaa kama suggestion ya kiroho Nehemiah the book of Nehemiah the, the word says yes afterward i came unto the house of Shemaiah the son of Delaiah the... if you find that the content is not uh, well understood you can start unaweza uh, anza juu kidogo Nehemiah chapter 6 let me start from verse 5. Mm. Then sent Sanballat his servant unto me in like manner the fifth, time, the fifth time with an open letter in his hand, wherein was written, It is reported among the heathen, and Gashmu said it, that thou and the Jews think to rebel, for which cause thou buildest the wall, that thou mayest be their king according to these words. And thou hast also appointed prophets to preach of thee at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now it shall be reported to the king according to these words. Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Then I sent unto him, saying, 
There are no such things done as thou sayest, but thou feignest them out of thy, thine own heart. For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work, that it, that it be not done. Now therefore, O God, strengthen my hands. Verse 10. Afterward I came unto the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, the son of Mehetabil, who was shut up, and he said, Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to slay thee, yea, in the night will they come to slay thee. Praise the Lord. Nehemiah was rebuilding the uh, walls of uh, uh, um, Jerusalem, as you know. Uh, um, while uh, the returnees, the well, well, come and talk about Babylon, when they came from the captivity, when he the walls of Jericho, uh, 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 Jerusalem, the city was in bad state. But they needed to rebuild this. Another man, God, Alimtuma, to rebuild the temple. And then another man was coming, Ezra, was coming to rebuild their spiritual life. But now you see, when, when Nehemiah, Alikuja, there was a lot of threats. Now these threats were tricks, as we have said, to deceive him, to do something that was contrary to his intentions. For example... Kulikuwa na barua ambazo zilikuwa zinaandikwa akiambiwa eti he wants to rebel against the government he wants to he has appointed prophets to come but is wale ile kitu ilikuwa mbaya sana ni kuambiwa njo ushikuwa uko threatened alafu mtu anakwambia njo tuweke vichwa pamoja tuone vile tutakusaidia but was the was the intention to help him no the intention was actually to do what to kill him now, I think these people had studied him and they knew Nehemiah is a spiritual man. Wakimwambia tuende club ataenda club. So wakamwambia hata hakuna shida. Wewe fanya hivi. Njo kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Come to the temple. Na wacha tufunge milango. Hata ukiambiwa na mtu twende church tukaombe. You can never take it as a snare. Amen. You will be saying this person is spiritual, but it may not be so. Like in Nehemiah, alishikwa na ile kitu inaitwa discernment, and it's like he was asking himself, I'm not a priest. Now if God cannot protect me outside, will he also protect me in the temple? And see the person that is suggesting that to him is, is the priest, is the leader, is the spiritual leader, and he is suggesting unto him something that is contrary to the law of God. Because he was not supposed to, he is not a priest, he is not supposed to go to the house of the Lord, especially kwenda kujifungia uko. And he says in verse 11, And I said, should such a man as I flee, and who is there that being as I am, would go into the temple to save his life, I will not go in. And I perceived, say perceive, that God has not sent him. But that he pronounced this prophecy against me for Tobias and Balat had hired him. Mambo ya hired preachers ya lianza kitambo sana. And that is why you need to be very careful. Somebody can be hired to deceive you. And they are on pay. So mambo ya this San Balat na Tobias, when there was no trick to get this man because of the amount of uh, the Holy Spirit in him that gave him discernment, they began to pay people that he could trust. And they pay him. And then once they pay him, they knew Nehemiah. Akisikia tu ni huyu priest. Shemaya amemwambia tuende kwa hekalu wataenda huko. So what would have the priest done? Sio kuwaita hawa waje wa muwe. Sinivyo tu. It was a trick. But he perceived. May God open your eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Kuna watu wameumia kwa kanisa. Kuna watu wa wanakuwa poisoned inside the church. Mama, are you ever poisoned in church? Yes. Unapewa sumu. Dani ya kanisa. There's a musician that died and that was the allegation they were saying. So you need perception. You need what we call discernment to know in Jesus' mighty name. Usikuwa ke unasema, huo mtu wamepakwa sana. Awezi ya kafanya kitu kama hi. Satan is not a respecter of people. All you need is discernment. Amen. Hata wakati mungini kama unakufa na nja. You don't receive food from everyone. You don't. You don't receive food from everyone. You receive food from people that have been sent by God to come and help you. Never let desperation take you to this place in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Some of you, you love gifts very much. 
Unapenda tu kutuzwa, kupewa gift, gift. And this you don't know sometimes becomes a snare in your life. There was a pastor that uh, was doing a fundraising. This one I was told by another pastor when I ministers in uh, when I used to minister in Kariobangi. And this pastor loved people who could give big money in church. And they, they invited this lady because she looked to be a lady of means in the area. Whether she, she is not born again, but she can give. And that's how we deteriorate as a church. And the lady came and gave 50,000 shillings. Now you miaka ni yakitambo. That's around uh, 2010. That, that was a lot of money by then. And then they used the money to buy microphones. And then one day, a demon-possessed girl came for the service. And the pastor was taking the microphone. And then the, the girl was doing the gymnastics. And he said, I bind you in the name of Jesus. And the girl laughed, saying, you, you, you don't know me. You want to bind me? Bind me with money that I bought for you, microphone. He said, which money? He said, the 50,000 that this so-and-so gave you was ours. So we are here legally and we are going nowhere. May the Lord help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So about satanic traps before we go to the doors, let us read Psalm 35, 7. Psalm 35, 7. Let me tell you what God is doing behind the scenes during this. Easy vitu tumeanza kujifunza. Please be prayerful. Na kuna season mungu anachiliaka kwa kanisa ya breakthrough. Ikikupita inaenda. Amen. My, my, my son used to struggle a lot in school. And sometimes I would ask myself, what are we going to do this subject and this subject? Because I'm not very good in following homework. But when we began to deal with this issue of family line, praise the Lord, he topped the class in Jesus' mighty name. And that subject, he topped them. Like used to, there's a time my son would, <laughs> would miss mathematics because it is a simple thing, a fraction. And I used to, na mimi nikawa nimeingiwa na ile kitu tu ya kuongea bila kuangalia maneno. Sema hawa tu wakosti na masomo. Yaani unaona yani ni kama ni vitu azienda. Because what is this fraction? But I tell you, this season tu tumekuwa tukiomba maombi ya deliverance. He went and scored 90% to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Psalm 35, 7. It says, For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which is without cause they have digged for my soul. Hallelujah. Amen. So these are nets. They can be hid and the traps. Read it for, from King James Version. Niyoyo, kuna traps. Without any cause, si lazima uko umefanya kitu. Satan will be eating, uh, atakuwa tu anaku, anakuwekea traps, traps, traps. Psalm 119.85. Psalm 119.85. 85, the word says, mm. The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. Praise the Lord. So pia hiyo ni part of traps. Kuna watu tu unachimbiwa mashimo. Kienda hapa unachimbiwa shimo, unachimbiwa shimo. And the medicine to this is very simple. Scripture says, whosoever digger the pit falls into the same pit. Amen. Yeah, that's what you should use in warfare. Psalm 119, 110. Psalm 119. Let's just list them so that when we begin to preach, we will not keep on reading a lot. The wicked have laid a snare for me, mm -hmm. yet I add not from thy precepts. Praise the Lord. So who lays snares for us? They are the wicked. Hakuna mtoto wa Mungu anaweza akakuwekea mitego jiani. They are the wicked people. They lay snares for us. Psalm 141:9. The Lord says, hmm. "Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the and the genes of the workers of iniquity." Praise the Lord. Baba ni epushe na mitego. Ambayo nimefanya nini? Nimetegewa. Nipushe, nipushe na mitego. Ambayo nimetegewa. There are many many traps that you can you you you, you get them and you wonder. Na mimi nadhani hii topic ya traps naweza jipeana kama example. Sana sana. There, there's somebody some sometimes back that tell me I wasn't even married but I was about to get married say so I want to treat you. I want to treat you to a good meal, to this, to this, this. And it was in an hotel. And uh, 
I got uncomfortable just outside the hotel. I got quite uncomfortable, but I also realized very funny behaviors. As if people don't have a cat or a dog, but it's like whatever I am eating, whatever remains, is supposed to be thrown, but then they want to carry it. And whatever remains, they want to carry. So they kept on telling me, keep this for me, keep this for me. I was very uncomfortable. But the good thing is that they forgot it in my car. So I had an opportunity to throw it in the dustbin. May the Lord keep you from every trap in Jesus' mighty name. Nata situi kama ilikuwa ni kukosa marifa because me towards my wedding I had a lot of witchcraft battles. If I would sit you and tell you the kind of battles we fought before we got married, you will even be shocked. So even for me to agree to go for that meal with somebody that I know in the dream is not a good person, for me in Yonaga kama was a lot of carelessness. But the Lord kept me in Jesus' mighty name. He will keep you in Jesus' mighty name. But when I went home to to do introduction, I went back home. Somebody came home and said that so I asked them, Why do you walk bare feet? It's because you don't buy me shoes. Ah uh -uh. then immediately they told me, My leg is itching. So they went to the tire, gari. They start on me, I don't know, I'm telling them. So on our way back, the tire had a problem that would have killed us. Another time we went home with my husband, he had not married me. I'm telling you true stories. We met somebody, a relative, and they told me, Wewe, ukutaki kutusalimia. Unajifanyaga sana. Na kuna kitu itakupata siku moja utake watu and then I'm like, ah, let's go home. We didn't even drive for more than 200 meters. We met with a big jogo enye. Jogo inatoshana na tausi ina... In a brick windscreen, I know many of you have told you that screen. And we were like, what is this? And my cousin told me, in a genie. So we began to bind it. Immediately that thing went, I received a text that could never be traced. It didn't have a number. I think it threatened me that deals can be done better. I don't know something. So I wanted to send it to Mameso so that he could save it. But now it didn't have a number. So when I pressed send, the text just disappeared. So there were many... Many, many, many trips, and, and and those days I became more prayerful. And at times I, I would see myself walking on a roll like this, and I will see somebody carrying a big lid, yasufuri, and will be eating me on my back, and be telling me, "You will not give birth. You will give birth when a stone gives birth." And I used to wonder, "What is this?" A few days to the wedding, I gave out my car to somebody. They were going to Meru. The car hit an electricity pole. It became yote mbeli kakua right yote from the bonnet yote. It almost killed them. That car now park on the day of the wedding. His car also accidents. The people that were coming from Akambani accidents. And you see any mitego kila mahali. May the Lord give, uh, may the Lord help you that you may design these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But we pulled through by the power in the blood of Jesus and prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There are many things I can tell you that affected us that season, but time is not on our side. 142.3, have we read that one? 142, Psalm 142.3. The word says? Yes. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. Why was the spirit of David so overwhelmed over him? May the Lord give you eyes that see in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jeremiah 5.26. I'm just let's read all the scriptures so that I can tell you other things. Jeremiah 5.26. It says. Yes. For among my people are found wicked men. Mm -hmm. They lay wait as he... Among whose people? people? Those what we call family enemies or household wickedness. Uh -huh. They lay wait mm -hmm. as he that setteth snares. Mm -hmm. They set a trap. They catch men. Hallelujah. So the trap here is not for catching rats. It's for catching what? Men and the source of men. Jeremiah 18.22 And the people that are laying that trap are actually Israelites. That's Jeremiah says within my people. Mm -hmm. That are supposed to be the family of faith. 
It says, yes. let a cry be heard from their houses, mm -hmm. when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. Mm -hmm. For they have digged a pit to take me, and hid snares for my feet. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. And deliver you from the snares of the, the, the pit in Jesus' mighty name. Naizo kakewa traps is a miguzi songe. And if you see dreams like that, you should come. Come after service or during weekday, we pray for you. Unaona unatembea na kukwa fence, you can't move. Ama wakati mungini unaona unaingia kukwa personally that have taken the grace of God, especially if it was like in a diamond, to come out of my mind. Because they were so much embedded. You can ask my my husband, sometimes kasabu, mali mimi nilikuwa na shiriki, siko tunambiwa kusikiza music kama hiyo ni mbaya. So sometimes when we were courting, he would pass by where I used to live and he will find me listening to Benga ile ya kikamba sana. And I actually infected him. But without knowing you are inviting a door, umefungua mlango. Na shetani ya kiingia maali legally. Unless ule mlango ufungwa, hawezi kutoka. Hawezi kutoka. And that is why some people, we get problems because of the door we open. And the solution will never come unless you locate that door and they close that door. May God help you and search your life in Jesus' mighty name. Na akupatia revelation. Ni wapi nilifungulia shetani mlango. Na unaweza pata ni kitu kidogo tu lizoya kusikia. Wo mezoya katu kusikiza gossip na inakupendeza tu. Na unajua gossip kupatia appetite. Usipoisikia siku mbili unafanya nini? Unaitafuta. Na zaga my sister, umepotea, eh, ukwe. Wesu kizu unaona chacha aje. Imeanza. 
pole pole tu even the intention could have been good eh hata jose akuja nilijua nilijua kwanza kitambo tangu nianze kumuona nilijua umeanza so the following day na umemaliza kesi ya jose utapiga oh ni nani ni esther simuonagi eh huyu naye alikulienda aje eh nilisema hapo hapo hakuna maisha you have started so when now god comes you are praying for a blessing to bless you he finds that satan is sitting legally now the problem i wouldn't say our god has a problem but lazima uelewe mungu wetu is a god of justice and is a just god hata akideal na shetani ana deal na shetani using justice praise the lord ndio maana hata watoto wa Mungu they appear in the presence of God the sons of certain sons of God appeared before God also Satan appeared with them and appear na wao kazi eh Mungu umesema unataka kubariki huyu mtu eh mtu atawagi sadaka huyu mtu ni mwizi kulingana na hii maandiko huyu hawezi barikiwa God is saying okay it's my word because God is tied by his word and he cannot deny his word may the Lord help you in Jesus mighty name so what you do with open doors once Mungu amekuonyesha ni repentas you will repair now the destruction that that open door has done and then you close the door permanently unaiambia okay kama na mimi wana shangara na watu wa kushiria kuongea sana you know kuongea sana na whatsapp ina, kusaidika kwake ni rahisi sana unaachana na hii simu unanunua kabambe hakuna mtu atakutumia any image sivyo eh kabambe ni ya kutuma nini ujumbe mdogo si na unga maana hata itukwaki message kubwa then that once you have already trained yourself like that you can go back to your good phone it's just an example i'm giving you hallelujah so you must also know so this tutaongea siku nyingine every geographical location has a peculiar spirit controlling it if you go to the slums let me tell you the amount of bondage you have in slums is too much Do you know there are people that have cars they park them in a petrol station to go and live in the slum. Na uwezo ukamtoa huko. Hata akipata pesa. Ile maisha ya kijiji ya kukutana jioni, kukunywa kahawa na kukua na bunge la wananchi haiwezi enda. Ana huyu mtu anaweza kukua ni manager wa kampuni kubwa sana. But they want to live there because they are, they are bondages in a slum. Slum si poverty. Ukitaka wale waganga wanaheshimika wako huko divine na wenye wanaweza wakakudivinea unajua kwetu tunaitanga kwa usia divine ni kwa usia that they can divine for you you get them a lot of them there that's where prostitution drug abuse inakuwa huko sana but also when you go now to estates like runda you will find a lot of idol worship so every geographical place you live you must know there are peculiar spirits that control those pure communities ziko na <laughs> communities kiongee kuhusu waluya communities unaweza pata ziko na some peculiar bondages na ukisikia watu wanasema watu hii community wanakuaga hivyo usemage wewe ukuagi hivyo hiyo kitu uombe isikupate there are people that their community they believe a dead person can appear to you watu wa western bwana asifiwe and that it's, it's a spirit impersonating the dead because there's no connection between the living and the dead na utaanza kusikia baba akasema akaweka pesa hapo nyuma ya mlango eh baba amesema sasa asiziko hapa baba amekatalia kwa njia maiti itembe in essence kama maiti itembe wachana nayo huko ikulwe na nyani you, you know the, the things that can you find them they are embedded in our community go to mulolongo see how many campers practice prostitution there and when somebody will come and say that you say mm, kwetu atukwangi hiyo watu wa zenu robana asifiwe kisikia watu wakisema mko mimi nienda unaambia baba mimi nakataa ukikuyu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu praise the lord i belong to the tribe of judah so these things have been there because those were opened before even we came in in jesus mighty name angalia hata kwenu pata kuna area moja inatawaliwa na kanisa fulani sivyo kijiji mzima hiyo ndio kanisa yao 90% Ingine inatawaliwa na kanisa fulani. Kijiji, yani idols that have been raised because doors have been opened kwa utawala wa hiyo area. So you may enter, enter into a satanic trap in a bid to find a solution to your problem. And this is the problem of anxiety. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Be anxious for nothing. You know number one, wacha nikwambie shida ya anxiety. Kwa sababu hata mimi kuna wakati inanishindaga, inanishikaga, hakuna mtu ameshinda hii kitu. God has never spoken to a man in that state. Unatafuta Mungu aongee uko na shida fulani. Lakini you are so anxious mpaka ukiamka unashangaa mbona hajaongea? Mbona 
Wakati Bwana alitaka kulisha watu, aliwaambia kwanza wakae chini. Tell your neighbor rest. Uh, once you pray, wajana na anxiety. When will the job come? You see now the problem ya anxiety kama hiyo, ukikutana na mtu hapa anafanya profes, you would want to know when is the job coming so that you may satisfy your curiosity. And you, you, I don't know why you want to know the future because you, you carry the owner of the future, right? So what you need to do is to go to that owner and the owner of the future and he will tell you the future that you are looking for. But when you are anxious, hata ukikae unaangalia kwa TV unasema na nani alipata job aliombewa na nani? Hello? Ni pasta mgani alikuombea? Yaani unamangamanga kila mahali. Lakini wewe ndani yako umembeba mwenye hiyo future. Unaweza ukaenda kwa yeye, ukamuuliza what next? Praise the Lord. Because sasa hii kwenda enda unafungua milango. Utaenda upatana na watu waliitwa na shetani. Wengine wako kwa madhabahu ya shetani. Wengine wanatafuta sadaka. Wengine and now instead of your problem being solved, it goes deeper and deeper. Na hiyo curiosity iko yake mzuri. Because if you can go to God, na Mungu anaangalia moyo aone for sure. This lady just wants to know when she will get married or what is there in store for my daughter. If, if kama unaendaka kwa babako wa in the physical na unamuliza dadi ile pesa ulipata ya retire unataka kufanyia nini na akwambia nataka kununua nyumba sivyo amekupatia future kile anataka kufanya how much more you are god may the lord help you in jesus mighty name eh hiyo anxiety si mzuri aziendani pamoja ukitaka bwana akuongeleshe yani make sure as you seek him unaweza kuwa una msiki because your situation you are sick The situation is so bad. You have received a very bad medical report. Of course, you as a human being, you are worried what next? Where will money come from? But usikubali ile anxiety ya kukutua hapa na hapa na hapa. In fact, the best thing you can do if you find yourself in such a place instead of moving from pastor to pastor church to church, ito wapendo. Maana hiyo ni formula ya Biblia. Muombe pamoja. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. The one that owns the future will always tell you about the future so don't be this person that you are you are so desperate you don't want to know how many witches have bewitched you even that god can tell you because god will tell you if your intention is pure amen yeah the owner of the future is your father trap zingine tunaanguka is when we want to be rich The Bible has told us in 1 Timothy 6:9, "Them that want to be rich will fall into many traps." It's a scripture we we read here. Now the problem is, unaweza kuwa na kitu inaitago foolish intellectual curiosity. You want to read every book in town, principles of making money, how so and so made money, the wealth of Babylon, the wealth any because you want to be rich at all means, and by this. Unapata umefungulia shetani tu milango tu ingine ambapo uelewe ukiamka asubuhi unasema mikono unasikia inafanya nini inasikia kujikuna sivyo leo nitapata pesa wewe ukapata pesa juu mikono unasikia kujikuna shindwe the that's a natural way of blood flowing in your vessels so you keep on scratching and waiting there is nobody to give you free money praise the lord but ni vitabu umesoma 48 laws of power you will read them and you use them in your department you use them in church it is not supposed to be like that because hizo milango unafungua tu unafungua na unakuta kujipata you are in a very big trap trap zingine tunaingia ni kwa sababu ya bondage of sin when a person is in a bondage of sin you open the door to satan automatically automatically and that is why because the bible says if anyone sinneth the word if means somebody can fall into sin right Repentance is required immediately. Immediately block that door. Because as long as the door is open, my people to itaingia, tengi kitoka. Another point is spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness. Nile you are feeding at the table of Satan without knowing. You are feeding at the uh, table of Satan without knowing. Wanaenda tu hospitali wanakwambia kutunafanyaga vitu zinaitwa akupanja. Kuna zingine pia niliona eti wanasema wanatoa damu chafu the cups you know the cups eh they put them to your back that is natoa damu chafu and then they throw the blood and then unapata damu nzuri 
Even if you ask doctors, they tell you this thing, we don't know it. But you, because of reading a lot, it is a technology in China, you know it. So from time to time, Muna throwing the money, and I Dam is very precious. Very precious in the kingdom of Satan. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Na ujue mapepo, they have got no loyalty to anybody. They can attack anyone. As long as the door is open, they will come. So there are other people that you, you, you carry things that, you know, once you have given something to certain, for example, umeenda umepeleka certificates zako kwa mganga, ama umekatakato na mganga, amekupatia dawa, what they do, they assign a demon. That demon will walk with you. The same way ukiaokoka, ukona hile inaitwa guardian angel. And my angels will hold you, so that you don't uh, hurt your foot. That's why your demon in Abuaga tu na kufuata, and you inabaya na information. Ah, leo tu memweza jaomba, leo tu memfanya, leo tu memfanya. Close those doors in Jesus' mighty name. Another thing you can do now, those are the points, is that you ask the Lord to search your life, and know whether there is a door that is open, and if there is a door that is open, let Him reveal it to you, so that now you may repent, confess your sins. And he forgives you, then you plead the blood of Jesus and you lock that door permanently. The God is in, in you is more powerful than Satan. Hallelujah. Yes, yes you, you know. But when you come to me, you go, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And one thing that opens that spirit of dogs because it's a spirit of fornication is masturbation. It's masturbation. It will open that door. And if you have never confessed, you have never repented. You know demons, sometimes they can appear as human. mating dogs, nobody else. Because that spirit is in you. Even Dange is you find mating Dange. It is only you. Once they see you, they start mating. But you know what we mean? They start grazing. Because there is a demon that is following you of that nature. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, to begin, any small deal you do, you must be count. You must be count. Upatana tuna watu wapa sema tuna uza simu ukifika nyumbani unapata ni mchanga imeja andani. Yani ni wewe tu, hakuna mtu mungini anauziwa simu fake. You must be count. Na simu ujiriza hii mlango, tulifungulia wapi. Jia kuna maali nilifanya magento. Jia kuna maali nilifanya. You, you know, when you ask the Lord, He will reveal it to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So when a demon wants to attack you, it will look for an open door. Kumbuka tunawangea kuhusu demonic traps. Na tuko kwa subtitle, tunaita the open doors. If you have something that is not godly, it is a, an open door. Now, unfortunately, the devil does not give up. He does not give up. <laughs> Say give up. When there is no open door, he will hang around to look for an opportunity. That is why every morning you must fortify yourself in prayer. Father, order my steps today. You said you order the steps of a righteous man. Lead me. You are fortifying yourself. So that if the Satan is hanging around, he will not find an open door. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. There are times that Satan looks, succeeds due to our carelessness. You can be so careless, very careless, or cleverly concealed sins or unconfessed sins. If, if you are careless about your eternity, you are careless. You, when you see something, you don't ask yourself questions. Will this make me more godly? Will this thing, how will this thing help my eternity? Will it make my eternity sink more? Okay, this friendship now, I have, let me say now, I have a friendship with Nelson. How is Nelson impacting my eternal life? Am I sinking? Am I doing this? You know, you evaluate. You are not a careless Christian. Tell your neighbor, avoid carelessness in life. Milango mingi wa inafunguka hivo. You are careless. Unaona tu watu Facebook wanapeana pesa. Unaenda tu unasema wacha nishukue pesa. Hii inapeanwa. And they tell you the interest is small. Wanapatia elfu ngapi? Mbili. Bada ya three months interest yako inakua elfu kumi. See what you have done. You are any 
uko careless kidogo because if you go to god he would have want you he would have told you no i am your father use another way to get money because once you pay now the 10k they start telling you there was a processing fee so you may end up there's a time i took a credit card and i this time they used to what was the name of that credit card you can remember it so i used to go and shop with it not because i don't have money nimetoka job niko na pesa but this is free you shop and then you can pay later when the interest came it, and, and and that time my husband told me actually he counseled me unajua wakati mwingine mimi kabla bwana alisaidia na ule nishimie kwa kichwa ngumu sana my husband told me listen you are working it's you that said you will be buying food here i had a credit card from this bank i took uh, was it 30000 you told me i took 30000 from them by the time i was paying it it was 100 I will school and be a story come I so that I have a job me can manage myself financially after all we shughulika na Kenya power na mastima mimi na shughulika ma na accountant so I went and took it na kujua so I'll go to shop I, I will shop if you take me to shop in that day I ask you do you want yoga pick whatever you want so I will be very good because see feel see me pesa ya card I'm telling you the day that the interest came mimi nimelipa hiyo card siku ile nimejua holiness. Yaani nilikuwa yaani wakinipigia pande hii na block na block yaani na block kila mahali because the land I didn't know by doing that the money is doing what is increasing. I ended up paying so much money until I wondered was it worth it even to take this thing. So don't be careless even financially in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Let me just wind up some scriptures to charge the soma wewe unajua Mungu amekuumba kwa image yake so you are spirit soul and body this one i will come and explain to you because many people don't know you can be walking na your spirit is sketched your mind is sketched but unatembea huko kwa kanisa hata unaimba worship hata unaweza ubiri but there is a catching number one, if you yield your body to sin it opens doors some of you you carry incisions you open doors na kuna milango ukifungua diseases zinakuja you just open doors for example the bible says like um whoever sleeps with a prostitute they become one in flesh right and also in spirit so let's say um no which example do i give you and that is why when couples stay together sana matabia zinaanza tu kufanana because the exchange they have sometimes will exchange uh, character so imagine i'm married to Sasa tena na example gani sasa? I'm married to what now? Let's say a witch, right? So this body imefunguliwa already mlango. And if I just found myself there and I am not prayerful, I don't know how to put a barrier. With time I start practicing witchcraft small small. So our body can open many doors. May the Lord help you in Jesus mighty name. That is why you keep it pure. The soul. Unajua soul it has a decide to rule the body or to rule the spirit some 124/7 the soul it can gain control over the body or the spirit pain as they kafungua mlango like if you hand over you sell your soul to satan some 124/7 our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers mm -hmm. the snare is broken and we are escaped what has escaped from the trap or the snare is the soul is a soul kuna watu shetani anatafuta soul yao yani yani the devil has thought this person must go to hell so if these people do not also make up their mind to go to heaven to hell they will go because satan will get that soul the spirit spirit ni ile part na kuwa na relationship na mungu ama na shetani and it can easily be wounded in especially in dreams the spirit can be wounded that nitakuja kueleza hiyo ya body soul and spirit nimepitia tu So I want you to know a few secrets as we finish. Somebody come to the keyboard. Mukanda is quite unwell. Na ninaona ile homa nilikuwa naogopa. You know Mukanda came to greet me and I told him after we have talked is when I realized that kuna homa. And I told him please let's lower the windows. Ah uh, by the time we lower the windows I'm already there. So um secrets lazima uzielewe kitabu kwa maisha yako. Sema amen. amen. Demons can physically manifest in forms of human beings physically they can physically manifest you ujuage kabisa 
they can physically manifest as form of human you can find a very beautiful person what 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 yeah demons walk also in what we call spiritually contaminated objects they carry spiritually contaminated objects they carry um demons for example kuna watu wanapenda rosary anaenda wakiomba nayo it's a contaminated uh, object kuna wengine wanapenda crucifix some clothes you know if you are a child of god you, you there, there is no need for you to be putting on nguo ambazo zimekulwa na panya kwa magoti zimekulwa zimekatwa huko na mende hiyo design ilitoka wapi yani ile nguo zimekatika 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 kama za wazimu that should tell you there is a spirit behind this kind of a thing praise the lord najua kitambo watu wangenunua nguo kama ni kijana wapata hapo na toza mzuri basi sasa siku hizi nguo iko expensive nili imeraruka Inararuka 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 those things will also carry demons generally those we are cast things so don't be ignorant about demonic devices yes so alikwambia amen another thing we do a christian can be oppressed can be oppressed because when you got born again it is the spirit that is renewed but the mind and the body may still be under the control of satan mm -hmm. the mind and the body may still be under the control of Satan. Kuna watu wanamalizaga fasting na masturbation. Wameokoka. <laughs> na fasting ilikuwa ya siku saba bila maji. And then you sit down and ask yourself what went wrong. It's, it's, you, you know when you get born again your spirit is renewed. But the body unless you surrender it to God and the mind zinaweza kuwa under the control of, of Satan. Now as I finish nitakuja kuendelea hizi nimeguzaguza nitakuja kuendelea there are two powers that god will never give to the devil ni wewe unampatia number one, god will never hand over your mind to satan wewe ndo utampatia wewe ndo unampatia because demons cannot read your mind they cannot they cannot it's you that give them door number two, your own will say will hapa ndio mali decisions ziko unajua mungu yeye yeah, amekupatia will and you will never interfere with it. Once you make a decision and you stick to it, you will ratify it to your destruction. So you are well. Satan cannot control your will except you give it to him. And the God will never also force you into anything. It is you that makes it to him. So everybody has a willful power. Kuna skiza, kuna watu hawajaokoka but wako na some willful power. Huyo mtu hajaokoka kabisa lakini anakuambia mimi pombe siwezi kuguza. You've had met people like that. Which power is helping them and they are not born again? They will. They have made a decision. Any decision you make in life, God will agree with it. So be careful with decisions. Be careful with choices that you make in life. He will ratify them. Kwa sababu amekupatia hiyo will. That will he has given it to you. May the Lord help you and help me in Jesus mighty name. That in life we will not go on opening doors in the name of Jesus. Sasa ombi tutaomba kubwa leo kwa sababu nataka tufanye warfare kidogo I don't know how many minutes we have. Ni kwamba baba nichunguze. Na ukipata mahali nimefungulia shetani milango. Ama hiyo milango ilifunguliwa tu na watu and is affecting me and my children. Leo ninatubu. Praise the Lord. Na ninafunga hiyo milango and I move forward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So that's what we are going to pray and then I will give you some prayer points.